Last year, when I reviewed the second film in the series, I wondered if director Peter Jackson could keep the momentum of the franchise going. After seeing The Battle of the Five Armies, I am sorry to say, no. The new movie begins where last year's The Desolation of Smaug left off. Remember, it ended in a cliffhanger when the dragon Smaug was accidentally released. In The Battle of the Five Armies, Smaug wrecks havoc on a village called Lake Town. A brave man wins the title of Dragon Slayer when he kills the monster within the first half hour of the film. Now, here's where the story goes sour. We learn that one of our heroes, Thorin Arkenshield, a dwarf, gets corrupted by the gold the dragon left behind in his lair. He breaks a promise to share the treasure with the villagers who had been his allies in battle. Thorin also refuses to feed and shelter these former friends after their homes are destroyed. This leads to a disagreement with his other allies, the elves. Meanwhile, two additional armies are coming against him. Thorin is unprepared and quickly retreats into his mountain headquarters, leaving his soldiers to fend for themselves. Despite the dragon, elves, and dwarfs, this plot reminds me more of real-life politics than escapist fantasy. And the fighting seems to go on and on. A couple heads are chopped off in battle, but surprisingly, there is little blood. Anyway, here's what I mean about a cautionary tale. Thorin eventually changes his mind, but the decision is too late to save his life. Director Peter Jackson tries to cheer us up a little at the end of the movie by playing the peaceful Shire theme. However, the main character in all three films, Bilbo Baggins, faces strife at this point when he returns to his hometown. I can think of a couple TV series that voluntarily went off the air while they were still at the top of their game. Take Seinfeld, for instance. The audience was left wanting more. That's better than what's happening with the Hobbit films. Let me ask you this. What if The Desolation of Smaug had been extended to include the first half hour of the Battle of the Five Armies? Then the series could have ended on a high note. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. Thank you.